Welcome to the American Board Certified Doctors for Egypt Annual Report for 2018. To begin with, let's just talk about who we are. We are a 501c3 nonprofit NGO that is based in DC, and our mission is to provide medical expertise, share knowledge, design, and implement public health programs, and to strengthen medical education in Egypt, and to highlight the role of health in sustainable development. Our vision is to enhance the quality of healthcare in Egypt through an ongoing partnership with government, academia, civil society, and the public sector. All of our donations are tax exempt. We go according to the idea of training the trainers. So we train the physicians who will train other physicians. We train the dentists who would train other dentists. We train researchers who will eventually train other researchers. And we believe that that is the main uh, path of our, uh, of doing any of our educational activities. So through 2011 and 2017, it's hard for me to explain every single activity we did, but I thought I would give a general idea. So we became an official 501c3 on August 10th, 2011. <clears throat> and I'd like to just take this moment to thank our founding members, starting, of course, with Dr. Hashem Tawakul, Dr. Hashem Sadiq, Dr. Hashem Ghanem, Dr. Amr Zidan, Dr. Hashem Hamouda, Dr. Ahmed Abu Aish, Dr. Muhammad Shahada, Dr. Walid Al Fi, Dr. Abdullah Abdulaziz, and of course myself. Um, here's Dr. Hashem Tawakul, our uh, founding, main founding member, and uh, the rest of the group uh, when we were visiting, when we met through um, in Dallas in 20, I believe it was 2012. Um, I'd like to take this moment also to uh, thank all of the volunteers who came uh, and helped us sort of establish our, uh, our position and register our, um, our NGO. So in 2011, we became, we were very active. There was a lot of uh, stamina. This is a excerpt from the Ahram Goma, which is on a Friday, uh, that had, uh, that talked about us. It says, Atvam and Eglimas and Bidayim and Facebook. So uh, Doctors for Egypt starting from Facebook. And uh, we first began as an alliance of doctors on Facebook and decided to make it into something that will be more, uh, that will last longer. Our first hospital to kind of host us was Ahmed Meher Teaching Hospital. Ahmed Meher Teaching Hospital is a uh, mid-level hospital, uh, but it does have like a trauma center, et cetera. Uh, and this is in one of the most crowded areas of Cairo. Uh, it has a teaching component, so a lot of the physicians are either residents or um, part of the Ayn Shams uh, University staff. Uh, and we had a number of uh, successful projects with them, a number of successful lectures. Like I said, I can't do all of them, but I will mention um, the nerve block uh, project of Dr. Uh, Mahasa and Dr. Muhammad Wahaba. And this was actually a thank you letter that they gave us, um, that they gave to Dr. Uh, Dr. Maha in particular uh, for that workshop. Uh, the nerve block needles, she also uh, donated them. Uh, for them to continue using them, and they still use that training to that day. I want to mention Dr. Maha Lattar. She was giving a lecture on nutritional management of diabetes in the middle of the January 25th revolution. She, uh, you know, the hospital was under, um, what would you call it, emergency zone, <laughs> with lots of, you know, the army and everything in the streets, and, and it's just amazing how she and Dr. Muhammad Mustafa Mufar, the director of the hospital, said, we've got to keep going. And uh, that was a phenomenal moment, I think, for us. Uh, these are an example of other donations. Dr. Yesher Salem was the one who took care of this. Uh, he gave a CPR and ACLS uh, um, workshop and also sent uh, dummies for them to use. Uh, we also worked with other uh, institutions, such as the NCI. Dr. Thor Dewi here was talking at the National Cancer Institute. Uh, here is myself speaking at uh, the 5737, the Children's Cancer Hospital in Egypt. Um, this particular conference was done with EMTAR. Uh, this is a, a, a very nice picture of Dr. Walid al one of our founders, standing in front of Mustashfa Ahmad Meher al Ta'alimi. Uh, this is an excerpt from a, uh, an advertisement in the newspaper talking about one of our lectures, uh, one of our work workshops. Here is a very nice picture of Dr. Hashem Tawek giving a lecture at Ayn Shams University. Uh, there's also a number of other physicians who came together, and um, uh, like Dr. Ala Adim and Dr. 
uh, Sully and so many others who were, uh, it's, it's hard to mention every single one. This picture is actually a picture of Dr. Muhammad Mustafa Abdullah from Ahmed Meher Teaching Hospital. He was invited to speak at one of our lectures. That conference was directed to uh, recent graduates or interns, and um, we wanted him to give advice. Here's another picture of one of our founding members, Dr. Uh, um, Muhammad Shahaita, and um, standing with some of our volunteers. Uh, these are other pictures, Ahmed Meher Teaching Hospital. Um, let me mention a moment our project in 2015, uh, which was spear, spear, spearheaded by Dr. Shem Tawekul and the Neonatology Group. And this was our first, I would say, successful project with the Ministry of Health. And in this uh, project, every uh, month, a uh, physician, uh, neonatology from the NICU or so on, would be visiting uh, one of the hospitals, which is called Sheikh Zayed Hospital. And what they would do is they would round with the physicians, round, you know, see the patients, and then they would provide um, what they thought were areas of betterment. And then the next uh, doctor to go would continue where that original doctor started and stopped. So... Um, it was very, very useful for many, many people, and uh, unfortunately, uh, it ended with that, um, that, sir, that um, what do you call it, time period of the Minister of Health uh, at the time, um, who would have been Dr. Hisham Atta, would be uh, one of the representatives of the... Um, of the Wazarta uh, Saha or the Ministry of Health. So obviously I couldn't go into everything, but definitely we began a very, uh, with uh, very uh, clear intentions of really working hard and improving, um, whether it's an educational level, uh, starting from medical students through residents or even at the attending level of extra, uh, of extra you know, techniques and so on. So what did we do this year? 2018, our board of directors and executive committee were myself, Huda Amir, uh, Dr. Hisham Tawekul, who is our founding board member and permanent uh, board member, Dr. Hisham Mustafa, urology, Dr. Hany Osman, uh, pathology and in vivo microscopy, um, Dr. Abid Madbouli, bioinformatics from uh, engineering point standpoint and bone marrow transplant, uh, Dr. Andrew Costandi, uh, child uh, anesthesiology. Dr. Uh, Maha Mahmoud Latar, who we just mentioned, um, nutrition. Uh, and in our executive committee, we had Dr. Mohammed Amgad, bioinformatics, Roche, and uh, PhD uh, student. And Dr. Noha Sayed, internal medicine. Dr. Ahmed Jaheen, dentistry. Um, We'd also like to take this moment to mention some of our volunteer physicians who began projects and, and truly gave of their weekend time. Um, uh, it, to an extent, we didn't really reach the goals we wanted to, but we want to take this moment to mention the time that they put in. Dr. Zainab Hassan, Dr. Kawsar Talat for infectious disease, uh, radiology, Dr. Shrifa uh, Ramadan, uh, Himonk, uh, Dr. Ibrahim Ahmed, was the first one to help us introduce us to the concept of web-based web uh, learning. Hospital management and acting treasurer, Dr. Ola Said, we want to thank her for the extra time that she put in uh, as the role of treasurer for the first couple of months. Looking forward to 2019, Dr. Mohamed Hagezi is our rising star in Himonk. So who are our partners? This is actually maybe the most important thing because our work is based on volunteers, but it also is based on our partners. What do they need? So the first partner we will mention is Ahmed Meher Teaching Hospital. Like I said, under the directorship of Dr. Muhammad Mustafa Abdul we've had a very good time with Dr. Rogh Dali, who has been incredible coordinating events, coordinating education, making our groups. Um, here is uh, uh, from our webpage where we discuss, uh, we talk about Ahmed Meher Teaching Hospital. Uh, I'd also like to mention some of their staff, Dr. Muhammad Gouda, anesthesia, uh, Dr. Hedi Barsoum, pathology, uh, Dr. Al Ali, neonatology, Dr. Abir Nay, radiology, Dr. Nedir Halal, infectious disease, uh, Dr. Ayman Ateya, may he rest in peace. Unfortunately, we didn't have a chance to really elaborate on our initial uh, plans, but Dr. Ahmed Bitaris continues to follow with us. Um, Human oncology, Dr. Hani William, uh, internal medicine, Dr. Khairi Musa, informatics, Dr. Muhammad Ab uh, Abu Bakr, nursing, Madame Zainab Fouad, dentistry, Dr. Manar Faram. 
physiotherapy, Ms. Hiba Yakut, and of course, the engineering uh, for the tech uh, support, uh, engineer Walid Ibrahim. At this moment, I'd mention Dr. Nafisa Badoui from Ayn Shams, who is the director of the Egyptian Board of Pathology. Uh, the Egyptian Board of Pathology Diplomats rotate through Ahmed Meher Teaching Hospital, and we work with Dr. Haney and uh, Dr. Suzanne as well. Um, the next group I'm going to mention uh, is Fayoum Oncology Center under the directorship of Dr. Salah Abu Talib. This is the first time that we've actually worked with a uh, completely nonprofit hospital uh, on such a close basis, um, other than 57357, of course, which we uh, did a number of our lectures in. And uh, Fayoum Oncology Center is completely and totally based on donations, and uh, we've established a partnership with them. Uh, International Relations, uh, Relations Office, Dr. Dina Mahani. Uh, she is the coordinator for all of the medical related activities in uh, Cairo University, uh, including nursing and dentistry, as well as a number of medical student related, uh, student based um, activities and educational events. Um, also, I would mention the um, uh, the Syrian American S Medical Society, which is a group uh, that we also worked with uh, to do a uh, an educational trip or uh, plan um, uh, during the summer of uh, 2018. Okay, uh, let's move on now to uh, the next uh, part segment of our presentation, which is our activities. What did we do this year? So, uh, beginning with education. Uh, to put things into perspective, this is a graph that talks about how much uh, time we put in for each of our specialties throughout the years. As you can see, in 2011, we had about 142 hours of education time. After that, 2015, because that was the time for the Sheikh Zayed project that I mentioned. And then 2018, we did about 72 hours. Uh, the most consistent, obviously, over the years has been neonatology, and they have also put the most uh, effort in. And of course, uh, Dr. Shem Tawekud is the leader in that. For this year, uh, I would say the most time was given by neonatology again, uh, but the most consistent was the uh, pathology. Every month we gave a lecture, um, except for December. Uh, we gave two lectures in December. Uh, infectious disease, uh, Dr. Kausatala did a, uh, a large um, effort in visiting uh, Cairo and doing that. We've also began using a volunteer survey. Any of our volunteers go fill out these surveys that let us know how we did in coordinating, how our partners did in coordinating, and what kind of feedback uh, they got from the attendees, as well as where, uh, if any of the future plans came, uh, came from, uh, plans for education that might have come from the visit. So let's talk about a few of the specialties. Neonatology, as you said, more than 45 hours. Dr. Hashem Taweka was a star. And they did a number of uh, workshops, including a neonatology clinical bedside discussions, advanced uh, mechanical ventilation, uh, multi-specialty uh, neonatology uh, conference. Here is a picture of Dr. Um, Hashem Taweka at, uh, um, I believe, Ahmed Meher Teaching Hospital. Yep. And of course, uh, Dr. Ala Dibbendesh gave our first Zoom-based lecture uh, in, um, uh, in neonatology, and uh, that was attended by uh, a large number of uh, younger uh, neonatologists in, um, in Cairo. Uh, pathology, like I said, we worked very closely with the Egyptian Board of Pathology. Uh, Dr. Nafisa Badawi, who provided us with a list of topics and curriculum that they we would like to follow. And uh, we began that in January with Dr. Hela Makhlouf, who is actually an expert in liver biopsy. And this was done uh, through, um, uh, through Zoom. We also did a few live lectures in person. So um, here is an example just to give you an idea. Dr. Hela Makhlouf's lecture, she was talking about uh, liver biopsy there. And as you can see, uh, they're in the screen, and she's there, we're there, and, um, and this, was, uh, this was great. Um, here's a picture of us with Dr. Haney, uh, Haney Barsoum. Uh, we also have a picture here with Dr. Nafisa Badawi. Here she is. And the rest of the diplomats of the Egyptian Board of Pathology, as well as our volunteer speaker, Dr. Muhammad Abdurrahman. 
I'll take a moment to mention the last lecture we did was interesting because we combined our uh, partner hospitals to join us through the Zoom uh, lecture. Uh, so the IRO, uh, African American Teaching Hospital, Zoom Oncology Center, and we did portion of it was pathology, the other portion was actually clinical. Dr. Mohamed Hagezi gave a lecture on, uh, and the topic was AML. So, uh, anesthesia, Dr. Mohamed Wahba uh, came to Ahmed Mehr and gave a, a lecture. And also Dr. Andrew Kastani continues to work with uh, Dr. Mohamed Gouda for, uh, for future uh, projects. Hema oncology, I'd like to mention Dr. Arif Kelly who uh, volunteered from his time and his visit to, um, to Jordan to pass through uh, Cairo. And he said it was an honor to visit Cairo University and Egypt for the first time. And I look for more collaboration in the future. He's an assistant professor from Mayo Clinic. And that was very, that was terrific as well. Infectious disease, Dr. Kausar Talat is an expert in uh, vaccines and an associate scientist at John Hopkins. And she visited um, Ahmed Mehr Teaching Hospital as well as uh, Sebit Sebit Hospital, which is uh, a newer hospital under uh, that is being established for infectious diseases. And uh, we take this moment to thank her for the incredible work uh, and effort that she did in answering questions and, um, and taking care of uh, the infectious disease portion of that trip. YouTube, let's talk about YouTube. We have a total of 805 subscribers. All of our uh, videos are volunteer-based. These are individuals who are volunteering to put uh, educational lectures. We are not responsible, obviously, for the content. However, the overall overwhelming majority of the doctors are either board certified or have had uh, extensive experience in their field. Um, we have uh, the most uh, watched video this year was actually the video by Dr. Negret Selim where she spoke about the interpretation of bone marrow biopsies. The most watched video overall was actually a video from uh, 2011, which was how to write a scientific paper by Dr. Mona Mustafa. And that, that is an indication uh, of how uh, research and very basic stuff like papers and stuff like that is actually something high on the priority list of a lot of our uh, subscribers and followers. Let's talk a moment about social media. So social media, we have a Facebook page, which is currently at 490, hoping to reach the 500 mark uh, by March. And we, uh, we've started Instagram, which uh, hopefully people will begin to follow us. We have about 10 followers. <laughs> uh, so for our page, if we mention just a moment, just so we have an idea of our top countries, the most, the majority of our, um, Let's see, of our followers on the page are, let's see, where did it go? Yes, from Egypt, the US, and Saudi Arabia, okay? Uh, we have two groups, one which is the main group and another one which is the associate group. Uh, the associate group has about 6,000 uh, followers and the top three cities are Cairo, Alexandria, and Mansoura uh, when it comes to, uh, to Egypt. And like I said, Instagram, we also put up our upcoming events and so on, or we try to at least, um, and it would be great if people could follow us on that as well. For our website, our website was maybe one of the most important things we did this year because it had not been maintained since 2011. So we pretty much had to revamp the whole thing and start over. Uh, but we thank uh, engineer Teresa McClinton and the budget star of designs for helping us out on that uh, and actually doing the whole thing within 10 days. It was amazing how she totally got, uh, she and her team totally got the website up and running within 10 days. We also began a uh, newsletter for people to subscribe to. Uh, we have about 87 subscribers and this is an area that we would like to work on. This is an example of what we, one of our uh, very first, actually I think it would be the first uh, newsletter that went out, which was recruitment for our uh, educational um, event in uh, Cairo with the Syrian American Medical Society. So here is a screenshot. Uh, please do visit our page. And uh, here you will find uh, a number of different uh, things and also a donate button area for you to donate and express your support.
Now, no one likes to talk about money, but <laughs> we are minus 2,422. The majority of our expenses this year went to one-time uh, payments. Uh, like I said, the 80 plus hours it took to uh, define our website, do an e email uh, newsletter, plus uh, business card designing, flyers, advertisements, um, and basically establishing ourselves. Uh, there are other expenses that we that we uh, need to maintain, such as our domains. We have about 14 domains. We also put security on our site uh, to prevent hacking and so on, like SiteLock, um, Mailbox, Zoom. We also maintain a registered agent in DC, which takes uh, some of our payments as well. See, these are the main expenses uh, for uh, this year. Our income continues to be uh, from donations. The majority of our donations this year actually came from Facebook. And uh, that main, continues to be our main base of supporters and followers for our events. Uh, I think one of the main things we did is we uh, registered ourselves on GuideStar. And GuideStar is important because uh, it helps our legitimacy as in a nonprofit organization. People can come here and see if we have been paying our IRS, our, our taxes, and to actually see our IRS um, EIN number. Uh, we also, on our webpage, we have an area for donation, which we did by establishing a Stripe account through, uh, which is connected to our bank. And that was also, um, all this took uh, a bit of time, uh, particularly at the beginning of the year. So, we are minus 2,422, and we have used 476% of our income. <laughs> um, we do occasionally do humanitarian assistance. I would say this year the most we did was the um, nerve block needles that were donated by um, one of the pharmaceuticals through Dr. Uh, Andrew Castani and Dr. Muhammad Gouda uh, at AMTH. Now, uh, 2019, where are we going? Okay, so first is all, of course, financial sustainability. We want to be able to have a continued uh, sustainable, stable source of income that can maintain our organization rather than uh, waves of donations. So this is something that we will be exploring further. Uh, we will continue to work with our web-based learning. Um, it has been an incredible break for a lot of our volunteer physicians in the US who find it frankly difficult to travel to, the, to Egypt, whether it's for um, the incredible, ridiculous amount of money it costs for, uh, for tickets, especially in the higher seasons, which is the times when most people have vacations. Um, or just because, you know, the travel situations and so on. So web-based learning has been great. We will continue along that path. Uh, we are a needs-based assessment, uh, needs-based group. So based on our assessment of partner hospitals, they tell us what they need and we try to do that. Uh, for public awareness campaigns, we are hoping to take a more stronger role. I think we have a unique position as physicians and allied health professionals uh, with access to both. Uh, and last of all, Travel Awards has been very popular uh, to provide, uh, you know, a monetary incentive for uh, physicians or students who have been accepted to give uh, lectures or posters at uh, conferences. Uh, for Yuma Oncology Center, we ask them, please rank according to priority. So continuation of the lectures with these areas of specialties, as well as consultations online, which we hope to uh, establish for this month. And then, of course, if there are funds, we'd like travel awards and access to online journals or up to date in uh, within the hospital itself. Ahmed Mary Teaching Hospital. We will continue um, to divide according to specialty committees, and these committees will be responsible to arrange their visits, workshops, and so on. Uh, also, for the Egyptian Board of Pathology, we will continue with our monthly lectures, um, and we're trying to see if we can have. Uh, the diplomats of EGP, uh, of the EBP, um, join USCAP virtually for a, a cheaper amount. We'll see how that works. The IRO, uh, this is yet to be defined or finalized. However, uh, in-person visits have been top on the list. Uh, Zoom lectures, training in the US. Uh, we would really like to be able to send maybe a two or three uh, individuals, whether it's for research or for uh, just an observership somewhere, um, and then as well as travel awards. Last of all, I would like to take this moment, first of all, to thank everyone who has made this year a successful year and the amount of time that has been put in. 
uh, tell everybody to join us, follow us on social media, try to get involved. If you are a, uh, if you are a physician or allied health professional uh, based in the U.S. and you would like to volunteer some of your time, please do reach out to us um, at doctorsforegypt at gmail or through Facebook or through uh, either of our other channels. Um, social media and so on. You can also uh, host a doctor if you have uh, a place that you could host a doctor or a nurse or someone depending on your field within your area or your institution. You can sponsor a travel award uh, and if you would like to get a little bit more involved consider joining one of our executive committees uh, in uh, for each specialty. So I'll take this moment to thank everybody again, and please uh, continue to support us. Our group is volunteer-based and it's based on you. Uh, we always say, is uh, and what text feed Benedict one week from your time, and you can help um, help uh, Egypt as a country and more. Thank you so much. <laughs>